What's up everyone? I'm Christine. And I'm Jeff. And guess what? What? Black Friday is right around the corner, so you know what that means. Yeah, I do. It means fist fights over cheap TVs at Walmart. Uh, yes. But it also means that shopping season is here. So in this video, we're gonna share with you some of our favorite overlanding and camping gear that we've tried out this year. And we think that some of these might make the perfect gift for that outdoorsy person on your shopping list. So let's do it. Let's go. All right, if I can start, I've got one that comes to mind right away and it's this. And of all the things that we've added to our kit this year, I think that this might be one of my absolute favorites. And so I thought that we would start with this, the F2000 Portable Power Station by Anchor Solix. The way that we use this when we are out on the road is this is used to charge all of our devices. So this is charging our phones, our cameras, our drones, our laptops, our fridge. This does all of that and frankly, it makes it look easy. It's probably even a little bit overkill for those things that I mentioned. But when we get out for long trips, that's where this thing really shines. It is powerful enough to last for those two week trips that we go on by charging it with a little bit of solar. Let's face it, there are like a thousand different power stations on the market it feels like now. But this one has a couple of unique features. One of them is it has this light on the front, which seems like it would be maybe not that important, but actually having it, it's quite nice. And we can use it to illuminate the entire back of the truck, which is actually really handy. Another thing that this has is it has this easy toe handle, which pops out just like this. And this is important because this is a large portable power station, but it is still a portable power station and that is key. And so having this suitcase style handle and having these wheels means that it's easy to roll. So like for you, you can actually roll this thing around. So there's a lot to like about this. One other thing that is really, really cool and a lot of other power stations don't have is this 30 amp RV port right here. So this output actually allows you to power an RV or a camper van or a trailer if it has this 30 amp plug. And so this way you could actually theoretically power your entire RV using this thing. That is ridiculous. That's wild. It's wild. So as you can see, we really like this power station, but that's only one piece of it. The other thing that makes this really unique is that it really toes the line between being portable and being able to take it out on adventures. But this is also big enough and strong enough to act as a legitimate battery backup for your home. In fact, as we're filming this, no joke, there is like a colossal thunder and lightning storm going on right outside. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it's pretty wild out there. There's a chance we could lose power and we lose power here occasionally. And to have something like this, to be able to plug this into our home refrigerator and keep our frozen food frozen, we could do that. This is a legitimate home battery backup. It is a great portable power station. And that versatility, I think makes it a really good value. The other thing that makes it a really good value is the fact that this uses lithium iron phosphate batteries. Do you know what those are? No. No. <laughs> and you don't need to know what those are either. All you need to know is that lithium iron phosphate batteries last a really long time. So some of the competition that uses different style battery technology, you may only be able to get like 500 charge cycles out of a portable power station that uses that type of battery technology. This, because of the lithium iron phosphate batteries that it uses, this is good for like 3,000, 3,500 or more charges. And so if you think about it, if you're going to invest in a power station, it only makes sense to invest in one that uses a battery that's gonna last a really long time. Yep. And speaking of value, because Black Friday is just around the corner, Anchor Solix is offering some incredible deals on an F2000 power station. And so I am going to put those specific deals right along the bottom of the screen here so you can see what they are. But if you want a solid home battery backup power station that is still portable and you can still take camping and you can take to the job site, then I would highly consider one of these. I am super hyped on this thing. And before we move on to the next item, I cannot test a portable power station without doing something totally like ridiculous. I don't know about you, but I could use a coffee. Do you want some tea? Yeah, I could take tea. Let's see if we can make coffee and tea at the same time using this power station. Okay, so in the name of science, uh, Christine has got her kettle for her hot water that she's gonna boil for her tea. I have got my Keurig machine set up here, both plugged in. Yeah. All right, let's get this going. 
and that's running, that's plugged in. 2,340 watts. The fan on this thing just kicked on and it is working really, really hard. Remember, the total output capacity for this is 2,400 watts. We're at 2,330, so we are pushing this thing to the max. All right, so there we go. My coffee is brewing, Christine's water is boiling, and uh, I think it's time to move on to number two. All right, my turn. So I've got the Defiance Tools Barbecue Multi-Tool, and I absolutely love this because this is a six-in-one tool. And first thing, it includes a fork. It includes a spatula. And these can be extended and put together to create tongs. That's pretty cool. I love this. That's three. Then this has a bottle opener. Four. Corkscrew. And five. Which are two important tools when you're camping. And also has a prep knife. Can I just point out, this is a legit knife. Crocodile Dundee would be, he would say that that's a real knife. That's a knife. I love this because again, six tools in one, packs down super small, fits in this. I am all about space efficiency. This entire thing is $49.99. So you get six different tools, one of my favorites. All right, time for another one on my list. Okay, next one on my list, also a game changer for me. And Christine loves this. This is the her favorite thing that we bring. By far, it's super compact. It's basically backpacker grade. What am I talking about? My new sleeping bag, check this out. Yes, look at that, knocking things over. <laughs> this is a game changer for me. Oh. Christine gives me such a hard time because this thing takes up so much room in the truck. And admittedly, it is huge. It takes up a ridiculous amount of room. But I hate mummy bags. I can't overstate how much I hate mummy bags. I don't get good sleep in them. I like to be able to roll around and toss and turn at night and in a mummy bag, I just get all twisted up and I am miserable. And so this is my solution. This is a minus 25 degree sleeping bag by a brand called Alps Outdoors. And it is, I think $179, but it is a big rectangle sleeping bag with a flannel liner. It is incredibly comfortable and incredibly warm to the point where even in the winter, I basically don't have to layer up when I'm in this bag. And in the summer, it's cushy enough that I just kind of sleep on top of it like it's a mattress, honestly, or I don't zip it up. But this thing has been one of my favorite purchases that we've ever made because it's just increased my comfort and my enjoyment out on trips because I can actually get a good night's sleep. So despite what Christine may think about this taking up so much space in the back of my truck. Think it does. It is going absolutely <laughs> nowhere. I will sacrifice 10 other items before I sacrifice Aww. this thing. Highly recommend if you're like me and you just hate mummy bags and you need a warm, comfortable sleeping bag. This thing has been amazing. All right, are you ready for the next item? What you got? It's the Tailgater Tire Table. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely love this because for $179, it packs down super compact. It doesn't take up a lot of room, but it gives us a measurable amount of counter space when we're at camp. I love that it can go on any of the four tires of the truck. It gives us a nice level surface. And if it's raining, we can put it on the tire that's underneath the awning and just be able to be sheltered and use the uh, table for meal prepping or to sit and eat at. Um, we can throw all of our stuff on there and it is super useful. Okay, back to me for the next one. And the next one I have is actually compact in size for a change. And that is this, the Ukupa hand warmer. Ukupa, Okupa, not sure how you say that, but it's a hand warmer and it does a great job. It's not very expensive. I think it's $30 right now on Amazon. It's got three heat settings. It lasts a surprisingly long time. You can get between like eight and 15 hours out of this thing, depending on which setting you use. And I just turned it on and it's already warm. So it heats up really, really quickly. It's great to just throw in a pocket and then you've got a little hand warmer hold on to on those cold mornings in the morning when I get up. 
Um, I need something like this just to keep my fingers, keep feeling in my fingers. And uh, the other thing I love about this is it has a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. So you can actually charge devices on this. So speaking of things that serve multiple purposes, which is always kind of a theme when it comes to the gear that we're talking about, but this has a USB-C and a USB-A output. And so you can plug in like two different cell phones to this at the same time, because it has USB-C, you can do fast charging, so you can charge your phone really quickly. So if you need to charge something in a pinch, or if you just wanna have a smaller device to charge little things like cell phones, this is, this is pretty great, honestly. It's a legit solution. And it's like scorching now on two, feel that. That's at two, Ooh, yeah. and it's warm. <laughs> so you can feel it, like even if you have it in like a jacket pocket, and you've got gloves on or something like that, you can still use this thing. So highly recommend these if you're someone who just wants to be able to keep your hand warm or you do a lot of cold weather camping. My next item are these Tiva Reamber Camp Slip-Ons. You can tell I absolutely <laughs> love these. They're very well worn. I love these camp slip-ons because after wearing my boots or my hiking shoes all day, the last thing I wanna do when I get to camp is wear those. So I can slip these on and what's cool is I can put them on and have the heel up uh, or I can fold them down uh, to make a slipper. Oh, I had no idea. Super comfortable. These are like sleeping bags on my feet when I'm at camp. There's a really good tread on them so I can wear them when we're at camp. I can actually wear them when we're in town and these are $80 online. So highly recommend these camp slippers. Okay, and for my next pick, I'm gonna go with the Amazon special. Do you know how sometimes, every once in a while, you buy something on Amazon just because it's really cheap and you're like, I don't really care how good it is, I'm just gonna get it because it's cheap. And then you get it and you're like, wow, that's actually really usable. So that is how I found this little LED clip reading light. This thing, I did not have high expectations at $12. But the truth is, I think I like this more than our like fancy overland lights that Christine puts up around camp everywhere. And I like it for a couple reasons. One, it gets really bright. It has three brightness settings. You can change the color temperature of the light. But really what I like about this is that it has this little clip on attachment. So I find that this is perfect to clip on top of the tailgate while we're cooking. I can clip it onto our awning. If we just need some light under the awning, it can go inside the truck and I can clip it to like the grab bars if I just need a little ambient lighting in the truck. It's just one of those things where it's just nice to have a utility camp light and it, it's got the flexible neck and it twists around and it holds its shape. It's just, I mean, there's not a lot else to say about a $12 clip light, and, but if you're wondering like, why is it actually on here? It's just because it, it's so usable. And that's the thing is like, sometimes the things we use all the time are not like the really fancy expensive things. They're just things that come in handy. You can clip this under the hood if you're working on the vehicle, if you need to work on your, your vehicle, do some trail side repairs or something like that. For 12 bucks, you really can't go wrong, can you? All right, it's time for my next item, but hold please. Oh, I should have known. <laughs> the next item is my Selk bag. And this is probably hands down my favorite purchase of the year because I don't like to be cold at camp. I'm usually the first person to uh, crawl into the tent at night because again, I don't like to be cold, but this has been a game changer. I love that it's essentially a sleeping bag bodysuit and it keeps me super warm. Um, I love that it packs down. It's about the size of my sleeping bag and I can move around in this. Uh, there have been times where we've gone out camping and I've forgotten my uh, liner for my sleeping bag. And so I've slept in this. Uh, there are um, booties on here that are removable so I can wear them around camp as I am um, hanging out with my camp slippers on. And yeah, absolutely love it. Best thing that I've purchased this year. Yeah. And as long as you don't mind looking a little bit like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Uh, it's pretty dang cool. I gotta, I gotta admit, there's some nights where I'm like, I wish I had that. And for under $200, in my opinion, it's worth every penny. That's your favorite thing on this whole list, isn't it? Absolutely. To be honest. Yeah. That's this is thought. my favorite. 
All right, and we've come to the final item on my list, and that is not necessarily a new thing, but I think it is a great gift and something that is worth mentioning, and that is a Garmin InReach Mini. If you or a loved one loves to get out into the backcountry where there is no cell reception, and especially if they're going out solo, then this is almost a must in my book from a safety perspective. So this is a satellite communicator. You can text people, there's two way texting. So if you need uh, some help or if you have questions or you just need to let your family know maybe that you are, you've made it to your campsite for the night but there's no cell reception, this can do that. And it's really good peace of mind to have and frankly, I don't think that we would be comfortable getting as far out into the backcountry as we like to do if we didn't have this. Another function that this has that comes in really handy is weather. So you can check the weather forecast on this for your location. So there's a lot of times where we'll get to a campsite, we have no cell reception, and it looks off in the distance like maybe there is a storm rolling in. And so I'll grab our inReach and I'll just check the weather to see what the upcoming weather forecast looks like. And that is a pretty cool feature as well. And then there is also this SOS button, which you definitely don't want to push unless you absolutely need to. But if you push this button, it will immediately alert the authorities. It will send them your GPS coordinates so that they can come and get you. So it is nice to know that if things go really sideways, having this and being able to just push that SOS button if you really need help in a bad way, it's just nice to know that you can contact someone and they can send a rescue crew out to get you and it's just a great safety item and something that honestly, you should have a satellite communicator of some sort, whether it's an inReach or something else. This is just what we use and it's worked really well for us. How much is it? $399. And I should also note that there is a subscription required. Uh, I wanna say it's $10, but I'll put the correct amount on the screen if I'm wrong. Um, so you do have to have a monthly subscription uh, in order for this to be active. But if you're just camping certain times of the year, you're not going out all the time, you don't have to have it active for like 12 months out of the year, but you do need to make sure it's active, of course, before you go. So that's the last one on my list, which brings us to the last one on your list, yeah. which is what? So last but certainly not least on my list is the new tent that we just got. Yeah. At oh, this thing is bigger than my sleeping bag. You give me a hard time. Oh. This is our new Gazelle tent, more specifically the T3X Overland Edition. We were in need of a new tent and on the advice of some friends and a lot of you, we finally pulled the trigger and got this tent. And I have to say, I absolutely love it because the ease of setup and teardown is bar none the number one thing I love about this tent. I also love that it doesn't uh, feel super small like our old ground tent because it was in a dome shape and this is more of a cube. It feels so spacious inside and while it's not the most compact, uh, the ease of setup and tear down I think more than makes up for the size. Yeah, I love it because I can stand up more or less, not quite all the way, but I can stand up enough to like put on pants or change or whatever. And I can do it like even up on the sides of the tent, whereas our other tent had to be right in the middle. And it's just like, yeah, it just feels way more spacious inside. Yeah, it has the uh, waterproof uh, case or bag, which is I think really helpful in the event that we ever throw it up on the uh, roof of the truck. I love that it comes with a footprint uh, we don't have to carry around a tarp anymore and really heavy duty tent stakes. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're wondering, that's what makes the, the Overland Edition because there's a regular T3X and I think this one's like maybe $50 more than that or something like that. But, but yeah, it's the waterproof bag, it's the heavy duty stakes, which are legit heavy duty stakes, by the way. It's the footprint. Um, that's kind of what makes up that, that extra cost. I would, I'd say it's worth it. I would do the Overland Edition again. Yeah, well worth the $349 for this tent. Yep. So there's a lot to love about this Gazelle tent. And honestly, I'm just glad that we finally made the upgrade. Yeah, me too. It was, a, it was a worthwhile upgrade for sure. And uh, before we go, we just wanna say a very big thank you to Anchor Solix 
for sponsoring today's video. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're still looking for more gift ideas, then you should check out this video next, because this was last year's list of some of our favorite overlanding and camping items, and even though it's a year old, most of those are still pretty good gift ideas. So check that one out next. Thanks so much for watching.